Hello, welcome to Rando Tech Info, and today we are taking a look at the All Powers S300 solar power generator and whether or not it's worth your hard earned dollar. You can pick up the S300 right now off of All Powers website for just under 400 bucks. However, if you order before the end of April here in 2023, you can knock another 20% off the price using the discount code I have included down in the description. And while looking for the code, you stumble across a little thumbs up looking icon or a subscribe button, feel free to click on those as well. Sneaky. As with any solar generation system, there are two components. There are the panels that pull power from the sun, and there's the power station that stores that power for later use with your devices. And that is where this review will begin. The S300 power station is roughly the size of a small car battery, but at 7.6 pounds is considerably lighter. This relatively lightweight combined with its very sturdy rubber back handle make it pretty painless to carry around. The station has vents on the sides and bottom of the unit to help dissipate heat, and a pair of small yet quite bright forward-facing lights. These vents obviously mean that the power station has no IP rating, nor would you really expect it to, so just make sure that you keep it out of the elements or any standing water. In addition to the vents, the S300 also uses a fan to keep temperatures down. And while I wouldn't say the fan is quiet, it's about what you would expect from a power station of this size, and it's consistent, so it probably won't bother most people too much, especially if you are a fan of white noise. See what I did there? Please stop. The display on the front is small but packed with useful information, including a battery indicator, how much juice is entering or leaving the station, which outputs are activated, estimated time till empty, and a little icon telling you if the station is in Bluetooth mode, which we will talk more about shortly. My only issue with the display is it could be brighter, especially since you are probably going to be using this thing a lot outdoors and trying to read the display on a bright day is a bit challenging. The good news is, as was just mentioned, is that the station does have Bluetooth connectivity, which can be used to pair the station to an Android or Apple device. Just download the All Powers app from the Google Play or Apple App Store and monitor and control the power station from there. It's actually pretty slick. As for your inputs, you have a standard DC5521 port, an Anderson port, a 12 volt car charger port, and something that is actually quite easy to miss, the USB-C port on the other side of the station can also be used for both input and output. Other outputs include three USB type A ports, two 12 volt DC outputs, and two standard AC ports, the type of which will vary depending on where you are located, so they should be the correct type for whatever part of the world you live in. There is also a pretty nifty wireless charging station located on the top of the device, and while it can be a little finicky, I was able to get it to work with my phone while in a kickstand case, so not too shabby. Just make sure you activate DC charging in order to get it to work. Now, as with all power stations, there are a lot of input and output specifications, and while I don't want to bore you with all of them, I also don't want to overlook something someone might find important, so I've included the following pretty graphic for your viewing pleasure, and feel free to pause as needed. All Power says the station can store up to 288 watt hours of charge, and in my own personal testing, recharging my gaming laptop from 0 to 100 drained the power station battery by around 35%. Charging my very large smartphone only drained it an additional 16%, and with the 49% charge I had left, I was able to run my 70 inch 4K LED TV for almost a half hour, so not too shabby, especially considering the size and weight of the station. As for the charging station itself, All Powers claims you can fill up the station with the included wall charger in five to six hours. And in my testing, I was able to fill up the S300 in just under five hours. So I would definitely say these claims are true. And like the station itself, the charging brick is of a very manageable size and weight. It also comes in its own little pouch case, which is a nice touch. All Powers also claims you can use your car's lighter port to fill up the station in four to five hours. And last but not least, you can of course also charge up the station using the power of the sun. In direct sunlight using the 100 watt panels, we were able to fully charge the 288 watt hour battery in the S300 in under six hours, which is pretty impressive considering the charging speed of the panels never went past 54 watts, which is largely because it's early springtime here in the United States and charging conditions, while not terrible, are far from ideal. As with power stations, solar panels tend to come with a lot of detailed specifications as well. So once again, I have included those specs for your viewing pleasure. Next, I want to talk about the form factor of the panels. And while I understand that might seem like a strange thing to talk about, I'm going to anyway because it's actually my favorite thing about them. You see, unlike most solar panels that fold up into something like this, the all-power solar panels fold up into something like this. 
which can easily fit into a suitcase or backpack. And connecting and disconnecting the panels to the station is literally as easy as plugging in a cord. My only complaints with the panels are the lack of an IP rating, the included charging cable is a little bit short, and unlike more traditional portable panels, there are no legs to angle the panels toward the sun. However, you can use the included carabiners to attach the panels to an angled surface, like the top of a tent if the cord is long enough. So at the end of the day, after looking at all the features and benefits of the All Powers S300 solar generator, is it worth its $399 asking price? I would say yes. I think it is. The S300 is a light, portable power system that can use its 100 watt panels to fill up its battery in less than half a day and provide you with enough juice to run your air compressor, fan, or charge your personal devices several times over. So whether you're a camper or you just want something to keep your phone charged when the power goes out, the S300 solar generator from All Powers is pretty easy to recommend. Well, that's all the useful information I have for one day. If you yourself have any experience with this particular solar charging system or something similar to it, please feel free to leave those thoughts and experiences down in the comments. That way we can all learn from each other and make more informed buying decisions. As always, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for watching. And until next time, this is Rando Tech Info, signing out.